Hey guys, welcome back to RV8 Pilot. I decided to do a couple short videos of some of the modifications I did to the RV8 as I was building. I've had a few of you ask me about these modifications. I thought this would be the best way to document them for you guys. Keep in mind, most of these were done by other builders long before I did it. I just used their ideas and either did it exactly the same or just adjusted for what I thought I needed uh, in the future. So most of these, if not all of them, are geared towards maintenance down the road to make uh, it, it easier for you uh, doing those items. Keep in mind, I am not an A&P, so any of these modifications, if you decide to do them, do your research, do the reading, and make sure that's right for you. Hey guys, welcome back. All right, here we go. This is the forward baggage area of the RV8. And this is one of the most common modifications pilots do or builders do when they're building the RV8. And that's this panel here. Normally this whole panel is all one solid piece at this rivet line and up here. Uh, and not sure exactly who came up with the original idea, but the idea is to make a panel here to give you access to the area in which avionics are located. Now, one thing I noticed uh, back when this was probably original design, they had a lot bigger trays. They had a lot deeper instruments that were going into this area, taking up a lot of room. So this uh, access panel was uh, highly encouraged because it gave you a lot more room, a lot more access to uh, the instruments. With today's modern technology and the modern instruments, such as the Dynon, the Garmin systems, the panels are very thin, which means you have a lot more room behind here. So you'll see. So how I designed it, I did a hinge down on the bottom, and I did three cam locks across the top. I leave that back one open most of the time. Uh, and this one, quarter turn, quarter turn, and then this just pops down. And there you can see how that hinge works. What that gives you is full access in here to everything behind. So you can see the tray here, this is for my Garmin GTN 625. That's a GPS navigator. And you can see how deep that tray goes, taking up a lot of space. I think originally when guys were uh, the putting these panels in, you had a lot more instruments that looked like that taking up a lot of the space. But as you can see, there's my 10 inch Dynon screen right there. Underneath the Garmin 625 is my seven inch Dynon screen and I have a lot of space open here. So this panel just gives you a lot more access, gives you an area for your hands to get into, to get to your wiring. And the red box there is my vertical power. That's the solid state circuit breaker technology. And then you can see all my wiring here is wire laced. Some of this extra wire that's here, I just coiled and laced up. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, just one of the modifications we did. The other nice thing is when you take the 10 inch screen out as well as a seven inch screen from sitting in the cockpit, you have a big open space there too with those two screens out to get access here. So one person can be up in the cockpit of the airplane, the other one can be here, and you have a lot of access to get your hands in here to do some work, change things, modify as needed. But again, this modification was just here for future maintenance. Uh, when everything's working good, you never need to open this thing. But if you have to take instruments out or add instruments, in my case, I added the UAVionics AV30 down there as a backup. So having this open and being able to get my hands in there to do the wiring and changing and the pedostatic lines was uh, huge. So again, that's what these, uh, these modifications are to make your life easier down the road. And of course, I ended up mating my or bolting my Dynon um, backup batteries for the two screens uh, right here on the panel. I bought these at two different times, one earlier so I could test it, the other one down the road, and they put the stickers on different ways. For my OCD, that's terrible, but can't change it anyways, nobody sees it. Pop that back up. 
I won't reach in that far one because I'm standing out here, but quarter turn, in and turn, in and turn, and that's it. So there you go. There's one of the modifications I did to the RV8 to make my life uh, more simple down the road for future additions and changes and add-ons or just doing routine maintenance. So I'm going to make a few of these videos uh, about all the different modifications I did. So if you like them, hit the subscribe button, send some comments uh, if there's something else that you would rather see or like to see, uh, and I'll try to get a video out of it. So again, I'm not an AP, I'm not a professional, so I'm an amateur uh, builder. So take these modifications, everything for what it's worth and do your research before you do any of these on there. But uh, if you have questions, reach out, let me know and uh, go follow the blog RV8 hanger, RV8 dash hanger dot com and got a lot of pictures out there for you so all right well that was the first one we'll uh, keep these going every week all right thanks guys appreciate you watching